All right, everybody, welcome back on a Sports Bash. Happy Hour Friday, Memorial Day weekend. We like to have a little fun on Happy Hour Friday. And, of course, Memorial Day Friday. Uh, boy, we got uh, one of our favorites is here with us. He plays for the Carolina Panthers. He's a Temple Owl alum. Uh, he is a Sports Bash alum. You've heard him here on 97.3 ESPN. He is now a Cape May resident. He is a part of the Lower Cape May Caper Tigers offensive staff. It's Colin Thompson back for Memorial Day weekend after hanging out. So you had OTAs down in Charlotte the last couple weeks, right? Yep, yep. First, Mike, thanks for having me on. It's, it's great to be back and great to be back down in South Jersey. So, yeah, OTAs in Charlotte, Monday through Thursday. Uh, we are one of the teams that, that are 99% there. I would say about half the league is is in and out of the building to some, ex- some extent, but we're there. It's been great to be back on the grass, great to be back with the group of guys we have. and We have a new team. 11 new draft picks, I think at least 10 new free agents. So it's been fun to get down there and get to know a new group of guys. Yeah, so uh, obviously uh, the summertime is coming here at the Jersey Shore. We'll get into that. But uh, give us a little insight. Season one in the books, we had you on after you caught your first touchdown pass. And now you're a grizzled veteran here. You, you kind of have, uh, you know, the OTAs. You'll have training camp coming up. But uh, give us a little insight on what you now – now having a contract, now knowing that you have a home, uh, what is that off season like and how it's a little different? That's a great question, Mike. So I, I treat it just as like I'm a first-year player in the NFL, again, trying to to make it team. So it's like I, I don't have a spot. And I, I technically don't have a spot unless I have some guaranteed money uh, I, or I'm a high draft pick. You're really not slotted to make the team. So, uh, yeah, I'm just – I did an autopsy and as we did it as a team as well, and you get some great feedback and that's what coach rule is best at in my opinion, you're going to know where you stand, what you need to improve on and, and what you do well. Um, so for me, I just did a little autopsy of what I did last off season, how I prepared, what are some of the good things I did? What are some of the things I need to improve on? How did it translate to the field and season? Uh, what times in the season did it feel strong enough or I, I was putting too much weight on or when I lost weight throughout the year. So I kind of, take a big picture approach and I dive into it and then I plan different things. So uh, I trained a little bit differently this off season than I have in the past. I tried to get a little heavier and get stronger and then I'll lean down as the season gets a little closer or before, you know, I would be leaner and then try to gain the weight as I go. So I swim, I bike, I lift, I run, I keep it fun. I don't overthink it and I just get after it. And that, that's something I know it sounds cheesy, but it's about what I've been doing this year and it's worked for me in the past. So, OTAs are good. We're about four or five hours in the building, six hours. I try to make it a full day for me, just like a normal day in season from seven to about five, four or five. And then uh, I roll out and go home and do some podcasting, do some LCMR football coaching. Uh, Colin Thompson's our guest from the Carolina Panthers. Now, you said you're running, you're biking, you're swimming, you're doing all this in Cape May leading up to it. Can people just see you kind of like uh, taking a little run on the beach or the boardwalk down there? Yeah, absolutely. They're like, who is this guy? This is like this goofball trying to hold it together. Uh, yeah, so actually I swim with, you know, another uh, 97.3 alum and Sports Bash alum. And then Dave Weinberg, I see Dave every once in a while at the pool. I see Dave around Kate May. But yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm a Kate May resident, at least from the off season till when we report. And then I fly back a lot on the weekends, too. We're getting married down here in, in late June. So doing some of that stuff and doing some family time. Uh, that's what the off season's for. So working during the week, flying home on Thursdays or Fridays, and then here through the weekend and, and fly back on Sunday. So it's been great. I, I'm enjoying it. Um, it's great to be like with the team, like you said, Mike. Yeah. It's been the grind. You, you've been there for every step of the way, it seems like, for me, for me professionally. You know, it's funny because uh, I see that Florida uh, flag flying in the background, and as uh, we're having this conversation, you know, uh, Tim Tebow is all over. He plays the same position as you do now, and he went to the same school that you went to for one season. He caught two touchdown passes today, one from Trevor Lawrence and one from Garner Minshew. Who would ever thought Tebow, Tebow from Lawrence, Tebow from Minshew. Uh, so playing tight end and, and, and playing the same position and, of course, going to the same school for a year, what do you think of all the Tebow hype and hysteria that has taken over uh, the NFL? Yeah, so I've had a few takes on this. You can check it out at Not For Long Media. That, that, that's my organized sit-down, my notes just like Mike does on a daily basis and he can articulate it, but off the cuff, people are in an uproar about this. Uh, not that he's not deserving or whatever that may be. That's besides the point. This is what happened. He went down to Jacksonville. He had a great workout 
Urban Meyer was going to have to work out, and he signed him. Tim Tebow, I don't know if anybody's seen the pictures. He's in unreal shape. To those that say, well, there's guys that played tight end forever, and Tim Tebow got a shot. Welcome to the NFL. This is business. This is big business. This is not, um, you know, local football where there's, um, uh, you know, politics. And sure, you could say there's some politics involved with Tim there because of Urban. But if I'm Urban Meyer, I'm hiring the best brand guy I've ever had. First off, he won a Heisman. He's a very, very, very good athlete. One of the best college football players of all time. He played a lot of football in the NFL compared to most people, right? And he won some football games. He lost some games. You could say whatever about his career, but he has the, he's in shape for it. He hasn't been on the couch for the last seven years. He's been trying professionally and he made it to almost the highest level of baseball, which is very hard, as Mike knows, to get to through the mess of double A, single A. You, listen, you got to hit, you hit, there's no, Baseball, there's like a little bit of politics, but not really. Either hitting or you're not. So um, I'm a Tebow supporter. I think he's going to do great there. He's a third, fourth tight end. He's a Swiss Army knife. He may do some H-back stuff. He's going to have him emotional a lot. He's going to be a goal line quarterback. This is if he makes the team too. So I think it's a no-brainer. I mean, I, I, there'll be some people saying, I wish we hired Tim because guess what? When he's on special teams this year and he's the, you know, he's the personal protector right in front of the punter, they have to account for a fake. They have to because Tim is can throw. Tim can do so much. So he's going to make some people stay up at night because they're going to have to prepare for whatever the worst case scenario is. And the worst case with Tim is he's going to throw the ball. He's going to run. So I, I think as your fourth tight end, your third, fourth tight end, that's a great signing. It's an absolutely great signing. And I think he's going to help fill the seats. He's already selling jerseys. He's creating hype for Jacksonville. Yeah. He's going to teach some of these young guys how to handle things. So I think it's a win-win. You know, I, the guy's in great shape. This isn't some guy who's just rolling off the couch. Yeah, I, I look at it like, especially because of who the coach is. That, that to me, makes the difference yeah. here. If this is some other team and they're just doing it as a, um, you know, ploy to sell jerseys and stuff, then you're a little bit more skeptical. The coach intimately knows who this guy is. You mentioned his baseball. For him, by the way, hit like 273 at double A at one point. After not playing baseball, that's not easy to do. You can't just not play baseball and hit 273. A lot of people look at this as he only gets the shot because he's Tim Tebow. Yeah, because Tim Tebow has shown time and time again that he deserves the shot. People look at it as he doesn't deserve the shot. He does deserve the shot because he's good enough to. He might not have been a good enough quarterback, which is debatable. I think Denver showed if you build a system around his strengths, he won under that system. It's that team. Look what they're doing in Baltimore. Right. Well, teams didn't want to acquiesce to his talents. They just said he can't do what we want him to do, which is fair. But if Denver said, we'll build a system around what he does well, and he won a playoff game. There's a lot of quarterbacks out there that wish they had a playoff win under their belts. No question. That's a great point, Mike. Excuse me. And by the way, I'm not like some Tebow backer. I'm not like, oh, I love Tim Tebow. I just feel like. This guy is that special type of athlete that, hey, guess what? If he's willing to do it, I'm going to give you the opportunity. And if you're another tight end on that team and you can't beat him out, what does that say about you? Yeah, no doubt about it. And I think, uh, like, uh, a couple players are now, anybody can come out of retirement. Listen, I, that's fair. Anybody can. If you're Tim, Tim Tebow, again, this is one of the greatest college football players of all time. This isn't, like, just some random all-conference player. This is a Heisman Trophy winner who, again, competes at the highest level, watches workout videos. The guy's on a different level. His commitment's at a different level. He's never had a sip of alcohol in his life, at least when I met him. So when I met him in college, when I was in college. So this is a different type of commitment level this this man has to to making it. He's a man of faith. He lives in Jacksonville. He's going to fill the seats. So it's a win-win for me. He's going to help a coach instill a brand. They're trying to change the culture in Jacksonville to whatever Urban Meyer thinks it should be. It's an absolute no-brainer. Uh, bring Tim Tebow in. So I, I, think, I think Tim will do great. Uh, he's in phenomenal shape. I don't know if anybody's yeah. seen those pictures. He does so. look like he's in some pretty good shape. Uh, and, and by yeah. the way, they said every pass that was thrown to him today, he did not have one drop. So uh, No, we'll I mean, see. quarterbacks have the best hands. People don't realize that. Like Mark Sanchez had the best hands of anybody I've almost ever seen. Well, the funny part is what? when Tebow first came out, people wanted him to play H-back or tight end, and he didn't want to. Now he's playing the position that people asked him to play, and they're saying that he shouldn't get the opportunity to play the position that people wanted him to play in the beginning. It's kind of ironic how this has all worked out. Uh, I, for one, hey, I think it's um, a very intriguing thing. Jacksonville needs all the help they can get. That roster, you don't need to comment on that. Uh, But 
Um, it'll be interesting to see if he ends up making the team. Hey, he might not even make the team. We'll see. But uh, Colin Thompson's with us. So it's Memorial Day weekend. You are in Cape May. That's what we want to talk about. Uh, what are some of the people are driving down the shore right now? They're sitting in their cars. They're miserable in traffic. So if they're heading to Cape May, where are they stopping? That's a great question, Mike. Well, so the right the beach won't be available a lot this weekend. So for those husbands in the car that want to have a good time, but their wives want to go shopping, the Washington Street Mall is the place to go. Uh, check out my mom's stores; they're great, and that's unbiased. Uh, she got a new one there. <laughs> that's with unbiased. My mom's stores stink. My mom's stores are terrible. Unbiasedly, no. they're great. <laughs> it's unbiased, man. I mean, hey, listen, I could say I could say just check out these stores and not tell you they're my mom's. At least, at least I'm honest. But I'm, I, I'd be honest with you that they're they're some of the best stores in the mall. She's been in business for 30 years. There on the mall, you got Lace Little that's lingerie right across from Ugly Mug, which is a great place to grab a drink. Um, the original Fudge Kitchen stores, they're all right there. And then Con Company, they got Yeti, Patagonia, Columbia, Vineyard Vines, all those fun summer brands. And then our new store, Sunflowers, uh, right, right next to where the A&W root beer used to be. But there's great places to have drinks all up and down. You got Harry's, you have the Beach Shack, you have the Barefoot Bar that Mike and I have done shows from. The Sea View is where I go. That, that's like my local spot. Great Eagles Bar in South Jersey. Uh, Mayor's is a place I should suggest for dinner. That's like a sister place to the Lobster House right near there. So there's tons of places to go, but you'll find me a little bit at the CB this weekend, hanging out, watching some of the games. Premier League games. You got yeah, NHL man. Playoffs. Sixers tomorrow night. Yep, Sixers. Now, what so are you into big, more? What are you in, you're a big hockey guy, so are you more into the yeah. NHL playoffs right now? Or are you all Sixered up oh, or yeah. what? No, I'm Sixered up. I've always been. We have a couple Wizards fans on the teams in Carolina, so I'm constantly sending them gifts of Embiid and all these fun things of Allen Iverson, which has been fun for me. Um, but I'm a big hockey fan. I've always been. Um, I played for 10 years. I love it. I wish I could play in the NHL. I got the Flyers flag behind me. So, yeah, I, I'm a big hockey fan. I love the NHL playoffs. They're the best in the, in the world. The first round's incredible. The first round of the NBA playoffs isn't that great, unless you're a Knicks fan who haven't been there forever and they're excited. Other than that, um, yeah, I'm a big hockey fan. I'm loving the NHL playoffs so far. Well, it's uh, the kickoff of the summer. Now, all right, so if I'm in Cape May, where am I getting a slice of pizza? Is, That's a great is, question. What's the I'll, spot I'll, I'll in Cape May? Because I don't know. I've been to Cape May a lot, but I don't know that there's like the spot. There's not like pizza. There's not like you're going to go get a slice somewhere. I'll be honest with you. you you're, it's not like a, I'm going to go get a slice. I think just the boiler room under, un, downstairs below That's Congress a good Hall one. There, the boiler room's got good brick oven. Um, but like if you're going like cheesesteaks and all, I'm t- I, my favorite's the Sea View. The Sea View Inn right, now, right across from Wawa and you come into town. Uh, their, first of all, it's a great bar and restaurant, and, and we know a lot of people that work there. They're great people, and I love their chicken cheesesteak. Their cheesesteak, they have cheap little like bar pizza, which is really good. Um, great wings, best wings in South Jersey. They're voted almost every year. So, um, yeah, great question for pizza. No, I, I, I'm I'm more of a cheesesteak, chicken cheesesteak type of guy uh, down, especially here. Uh, but there's some good places, obviously, up on the boardwalks and Wildwood. And Ocean yeah, City. Boiler yeah, Room's a good spot there. That's a good uh, good pick by you. Blue Pig, I had a yeah. nice little breakfast there, too. Nice spot, right? Yeah, there's great stuff. Look at you. There's great, uh, great kids. You know, there's, there's tons of places to go for breakfast. Uh, the secret one, the Saltwater Cafe, is a good one. That's right near me here. I'm I'm uh, right when you come into town near the Lobster House area. So there's there's so many good places to go. See, Memorial uh, Day really- weekend, the Friday Memorial Day show, I'm always like, this is like the uh, – you know, like the free shout out Friday that we do uh, for all the yeah. people coming down. I like to try to tell them where all the local people like, boom, hit this spot. Make sure you go there. This is the place to go in this yeah. town. There's a go. But Kate May is not. I, I don't know that like the back of my hand. That's why I needed you today, man. Yeah. So, yeah, the, our local spots that we go to are the Sea View. Like I've said, that, that's the, that's that's Mecca. That's home. And then you have uh, the Barefoot Bar. Which is right on the loft, right on the downtown, right on Beach Ave. The new one is Taco Caballito, which is the old cabanas. Obviously, you have Carney's right, right there. You have uh, the Beach Shack, the Rusty Nails, a great place to get drinks. Sea Salt, which is down towards Harry's, is awesome. But Harry's is great. They have a rooftop. It's going to be rainy this weekend, so the bars and the, all the shops will be packed, which is great, great for commerce down here. Um, so, yeah. It's yeah, an awesome town, man. I love living the, here. The the uh, mayors won't say this, but they'll tell you behind closed doors. Memorial Day weekend, they actually want it to rain. Yeah, of course. Well, actually, they want you just like they don't want it to rain. They just want like murky weather where it's not beachy. So I gotta go to all the stores. Washington Street will be packed without rain. Yeah, I mean, for my mom again. My mom's had ah. business for thirty years. <laughs> Come on. 
the cloudy days, man. A little cloudy. Perfect. All right, man. Well, Colin Thompson, uh, year two is on the way uh, for the Carolina Panthers. Uh, the OTAs continue for them. He'll be – now, it's interesting. You told me that you're flying back and forth. So you're going down there for a couple days doing OTAs. Then you're coming back here for the weekend, taking care of your wedding stuff and, uh, you know, getting ready for summer and all that kind of stuff. And then flying back to Carolina. Uh, so that's that, that's a lot of travel, man. Yeah. Man, well, I, I saw you, by the way, for- I saw you – in a little mini airplane with uh, where were you, where, where were you with the, the Cape May Brewery guys? So that that reminds me, that's really should have been the first place because that's one of my favorite spots to really stop. I'll be honest with you. At the moment, it just slipped my mind. So I know I've been uh, trying. Brian, I, I need them to make a sports bash brew. Cape May Brewing sports bash brew. Uh, so Ryan and the gang at Cape May Brewing Company are unreal, and we're lucky to work with them at Not For Long Media, my podcast, and and they do a fantastic job. They're celebrating 10 years. They have 10 different beers coming out to celebrate 10 years. They, they just kill it, and Ryan and I went down. They have a new beer called the Qualified Captain, which is a lager, a light lager. It's my favorite of their beers. Um, I love their IPAs, but I can't have too many of them. Like That's, that's right up your alley. Uh, so we flew – from Cape May to Wilmington, Delaware on, on the Cape May brew plane. And then met with the guy who works with the qualified captain, who's got this awesome beer again with Cape May brewing company. So it's so easy to access to. It's really right off the parkway. It's uh, yeah. just about 10, five, 10 minutes outside of Cape May. So Cape May brewing company really for couples, kids, you have dogs, they got big open spaces. They just open their inside bar too. They're back to normal. So, yeah, K May Brewing Company is another great one down here that we love going to. Yeah, all right. Uh, well, yeah, we have to we have to try to get them to do that sports bash brew. You know, I drink. All right, so I I do the low cal low carb IPA. I'm a keto beer. Boom. So they need to do a Cape May Brewing low cal low carb IPA. Yeah, and then you just boom, you could sell a heck out of it on here. That's right. You know. So I've been trying to find one of these uh craft beer places to do the Sports Bash brew for me. So we got to talk to these guys. Get it out there for me. All right. It's almost like a Philly you need a Philly like a Philly sports brew and then you could have it and sell it on game days, whatever. It could be great. Well, uh I I'm I'm open to anything, but I said I've been saying for years, Sports Bash brew. It's a low cal, low carb IPA for all the people out there who like the IPA but want to keep their girlish figure like I am. All right. Colin Thompson from the Carolina Panthers, and uh, of course he's out down there in Cape May. Now, are you uh, going to be back calling plays this year for the Caper Tigers? Uh, I won't. I'm going to be involved, but I'm going to be more of a consultant role. I watch the film, send some, send some pointers. I do a bunch of policies, and I'm helping run the weight room and and just a bunch of different things. The great, great staffing kit we have there, so just involved in, in all aspects of it, really offense, defense, special teams, the off season. And then when I go, I go. And when I can be involved, obviously I'm very, very gracious. They, they, they listen to me and I'm able to give, give my time and get involved in the community down here, which is an awesome group of kids and people to be involved with. I'm, I'm loving it. Well, it's good catching up, man. Enjoy the weekend and uh, good luck with uh, the OTAs and stay healthy. Of course, with that, obviously health is a big thing in the NFL and uh, obviously congratulations uh, on the wedding coming up. Thank you, brother. It's great to be on. I'm looking forward to being on again, and uh, enjoy your weekend as well. All right, that's Colin Thompson from the Carolina Panthers, who, of course, lives down in Cape May. You've heard him on our station a lot in the past, and he's no longer doing stuff with us daily because uh, he plays in the NFL, so good for him. Uh, Good to talk to him. Good to catch up. Sports Bass brought to you by Dorothy Gale Roofing. No place like your home. If you have a leak or need a new roof, call Dorothy Gale Roofing, 877-97-KEVIN, or visit them online at DorothyGaleRoofing.com. We got plenty more Sports Bass on this Memorial Day. Happy hour Friday weekend on 97.3 ESPN and the free mobile app.